In this video I am going to try and recondition the CBR 1000F 1988 cylinder head using old usable parts. So without further ado let's see if it holds fluid in all the ports when we're finished. Fingers crossed. Okay and so, so far I've sourced and sorted and checked two cylinders, number one, number two, and hopefully all these parts are good to go with my measurements. <laughs> we'll soon find out at the end, won't we? I'll put these two over here nice and safe with the engine. I've been cleaning these valves up. These are the uh, intake valves. Some of them are pretty bad, some of them are pretty good. I put my Virgil up and down the shafts. Uh, some are 41, 541, and some are 539, 538. So obviously I've tried to find as many 541s as I can. And some of them do have like pitting and stuff inside. I'll show you on the other camera because I don't think this will focus close up so let me show you on the other camera ok so this is what they're looking like before I clean them up pretty bad Some of them look okay when I clean them up. Do have bits of thing on. These shafts are the thickest shafts. And some of them have, don't know if that's going to show up, pitting like that. You can see the pitting in there. So let's carry on cleaning. Okay then, so this is what they're looking like before we wire brush them. I think it should be okay to wire wheel them, but we'll soon find out, won't we? they're looking pretty okay so about 15 more to do So these are most of the exhaust valves <coughs> and obviously I'm just picking out the ones that I think are the best ones. I don't know if you can see that one but it's got lots of pitting on the bottom. The top's okay. The shaft is fairly worn. So I don't know if that's any good or not, but that is one of the worst ones. This is one of the better ones. Just slight pitting. Top looks very good. Shaft don't look so worn. I am uh, going over it with the verdure, like I say, along the shafts. Picking the thickest ones. So 
So that's one I'll be using. I need four more. No, three more I need. So that's one. And they're already cleaned up so I could stick that on there. Stick the top hat on it and put it in the dung box. Now I've got to find three more. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so hopefully they're all the good parts. And they're all the not so good parts. Now all we've got to do now is give that a good clean and get on with it. Okay, so I'm just using some of this before I start to spray paint. Lidl's special. Mm. There's stuff coming off. I think we're going to be here for a long time. around the back I don't suppose but there's the first coat give that half an hour and then another coat okay then so that's about five coats cost eight pound a tin but about just under half a tin left I was thinking about buying a drone, you know, but uh, I've got to pay that much money out on this stuff then. So then I started thinking, well, why not just try and make one? So, I made my own.
so thanks for watching the video yes it's all free hope you enjoyed it uh, if you didn't enjoy it go buy a TV license see you next time I'll see you in another life, brother.